Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Amanda here. The lighting is not exactly how I want it to be, but I have new lighting coming. We just have to wait for it. And eventually, I had a different mirror that was gonna go here, but my parents brought me this mirror. Um, this used to be my grandma's, and so this weekend we're gonna get it hung. And then eventually, I just work off of like a little mirror right here, so I'm always looking down. But I have a big mirror that's gonna go behind the camera and behind the lighting and then I have some more little lights that are going to go back to like light everything so eventually we'll get there but I figured in the meantime I'm still going to get ready so might as well film it so today there's some first impressions some not but it's all high-end makeup and I didn't necessarily mean it for to be this way with my new setup I keep all of my makeup over there and so each day I grab a new foundation, a new concealer, a new powder, a new bronzer, a new highlighter, and a new blush, which, ooh, I didn't grab a blush. One second. There. I have a blush now. Um, and so I <laughs> just looked down and everything's all high-end, so I figured do a full face of high-end makeup today. So. First, I already put on my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Sea Collagen Super Serum. This is what I use. Um, if you see, it's like separated, and so you shake it. Um, I put a drop, drop, and on my forehead and massage it in. I absolutely love it. Um, and then I'm also gonna put on some Tatcha, this silk canvas. Um, my friend Shalimar left this for me, so thank you. Um, and I just put this in to fill my pores. I was gonna use the Bobbi Brown moisturizer, but without even thinking, I put my oil on, so I don't need a double whammy yet. So I just put a little bit of this on, any excess in the rest of my T-zone. And for foundation today, I'm using Wander Beauty, um, the Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. I have this in shade light medium. I got this. A week or two ago and I've used it once I heard about it from Ellie and Bonnie and they really like it the shade is not exactly my perfect shade but it's not miserable oh this is why we put our hair back but I wore it the other day for a very brief time and that little bit of time that I had it on I really did like it let me put my hair up real quick there pin it back a little bit and since we're doing high end I'm gonna pick up a true beauty blender I've been into makeup for how long and I got my first beauty blender in December um, and I like it I mean I don't think it's crazy better than all the rest of them I've been really into the morphe beauty sponge um, they have a red one and then they have a pink one that they did with Jeffree Star and I really do like it and I like one end of it. It's got a flat end and so I really like that for cutting lines and stuff but this one's pretty good. My face isn't too bad at the moment. I've been pretty good about skincare. Oh see like the color's not too off but see my lighting needs to be a little bit better. <laughs> I get it. But I don't know what the, I don't really know anything about this foundation. I think it has a little bit more dewy of a look, which is funny because I'm more into a matte, but recently I've been in way more of a dewy look. Just need a little bit more around my chin. Um, I've just been, I'm super over a fully matte look. And so I've been trying more illuminating foundations, but again, I have oily skin or I tend to have oily skin, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But, so I just mattify the certain areas I need mattified, but I like the rest of my face to look like it's a real face. <laughs> it sits on my face really well. I mean, it is pretty dewy, but I like it. It's not too crazy. I still like that, I don't like full, full coverage. I still like to be able to see my beauty marks and my freckles and stuff. And so I just like to even everything out. And so this evens out really nice. It sits on my nose really well. I like it. All right, so for concealer, I have Born This Way by Too Faced and I have shade Snow. Don't wanna put too crazy much. All right, 
I don't want to put too crazy much. And then this is how much I put on. I'm putting the lighter colors on the spots where the light naturally hits your face. And you put it underneath the jawline, see how it kind of gives you a cheekbone now. If you don't necessarily have a cheekbone, it helps contour your face. And the light would naturally hit you in the forehead. It just brightens you up perfectly. Blend it down and over the eyelid to use it kind of as like an eyeshadow primer and to just even everything out. And you go back and forth, back and forth to help prevent creasing, which I do have a pretty deep crease on this side. And no matter what I do, it's there. So <laughs> we try to prevent it, but it's there. Go back and forth, gently, gently, and then blend it out. So now it's lighter here, lighter here, and lighter here. Now what I like to do is I take a banana powder. Every brand has a banana powder. This one's actually from Essence. So hey, it's a cheap one. I just set where we put that highlight. Perfect, all right. Now, to set the rest of my face, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Flaw Airbrush Flawless Finish. Why is that so hard for me? Um, Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in shade to medium. I'm gonna pick up a big fluffy brush and just pat this on the rest of my face. Because yes, I have a, dewy foundation on but I still have oily skin so I have to set it so this way it's not matte on matte so it's not as drying looking on my face and then I'll take my diffuser brush or dual fiber and I'll just make sure everything's blended make sure everything is set And even after being set, it still looks, still has a little bit of shine to it. So it looks good. All right. Now for bronzer, I have two of the Marc Jacobs bronzers. I just picked these up. I have Tantastic and Omega for, uh, Bronze. Let's see. Which to be honest, they don't look very different. Maybe this one's like a little bit more terracotta. So I'm gonna jump into this one, the Tantastic for right now. I'm gonna pick up a smaller brush than I normally do for, I'm changing things up on how I do my bronzer. I usually do a really big brush and I kind of just feel like my face gets too orange. And so I'm gonna pick up a smaller brush and put it more precisely where I want it and then blend it out. the color of this it's so windy outside right now so if you can hear the wind I'm sorry and my husband and son are home so you'll hear them oh I really really like the shade I think it's a little overkill that the bronzer is this big though But for how much it costs, you should be getting this much product. A little on the chin. A 
underneath the lip. Oh, I like that color a lot. It's winter, so I don't need, I don't have a tan, so I don't need to go crazy. I just need to bring some definition back to the face. And I'm just gonna pick up a big blender brush and I'm gonna throw this in my crease. I'm actually gonna be filming an eye look after this video, but for the sake of this video, I don't wanna leave my eyes just bare. I always think it just looks so silly. Perfect, all right. Now, let's pick up the blender brush again. Make sure everything is blended. Blush, I'm gonna use the NARS Wanted One Cheek Palette, which has some really pretty blushes and some highlights in it. I'm going to go into the two middle shades, just go back between both of them. I can hear Remington singing Baby Shark out there. Oh, I like that. It's nice and subtle. A little on the chin, on the chin, on the forehead, on the nose, and on the chin. Just to make everything a little bit more cohesive. And again, blender brush. All right, and for highlight, I have the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in gold, which, is this the one that Casey Holmes did? I don't actually remember. I think so though. All right, I'm gonna pick up a blush brush for this, and I'm gonna go in to the two outside shades and just diffuse it out. I don't want it to be just a stark line. So that's why I like to use a little bit bigger of a brush than a typical highlighting brush. I just want the glowy look. I don't want like the spotlight look, if that makes sense, even though the palette is called Spotlight. The nose. And Cupid's bow. And the excess on the rest of the face. Perfect. And again, diffuse it out. All right, for brows, I'm gonna do this off camera real quick. I'm gonna use Precisely My Brow from Benefit and then their 24 hour gel setter. I'll be right back. All right, eyebrows are done and I threw on some Roller Lash from Benefit real quick. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing an eyeshadow look after this, so I wanted to keep it simple. We have a little visitor. Can you say hi? Can you hey. say hi? All right, go play. <laughs> this is Remington. How old are you, Remington? Four. Four? Yes. What did you do today? Show and tell. You went to school? Yes. Okay. You wanna go to lunch with mommy and daddy when he comes back from work? Hmm? I know, but he is a patient. He's gonna go help real quick. Let me finish getting ready and then we'll go out to lunch, okay? A little stinker. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying, but I'm gonna do a tutorial after this. And so I just kept the eyes really simple and just put on a light layer of mascara, um, which I still am obsessed with roller lash. But yeah, this is my full face. I was gonna say first impressions, but it's half of them I'd used already, but full face of high-end makeup. I really, like looking up really close, oh, and I just threw on uh, the Shane jo Dawson X Jeffree Star uh, chapstick, and then a Revlon lipstick over the top, like two different ones, so sorry, I just grabbed. I don't even know what ones they are, but I really like the way that this is sitting on my face. I'm actually not a huge fan of the highlight right now. Um, it's just a little too golden for me. Let's see if that tones it down a little bit. But my pores look really good. 
there's mascara on my forehead. I know it's kind of hard to tell in here, like you can still see my texture and you can still see my skin popping through, but that's what I want. I don't, the color match is pretty good. It's a little bit off, but nothing major. I don't know. I really like it. I'll see how it wears throughout the day and I will let you know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.